Okay, so there's some problems to make these molecules, each of them from benzene. If you do them all, you can you can leave. No. Here's some here's some examples. So let's let's first talk about different strategies you can use or some things to think about and then, then we can do them we can do them one at a time or we can do yeah. give you a couple and then you can work on them and I'll walk around but choose one to begin with from the front page a Okay, we'll do A. So, the three things that we need to know about this are, we need to know what series of reactions to put each group on the ring. And then, we have to make sure that in that series that we'll get the proper direction. So when I look at this initially, I look at those two groups and I say, they're both what kind of directors? They're ortho para and my groups are meta, so I'm going to need to at some point put a meta director on the ring in order to make the groups become meta as I add them. So, do we have any ideas about how to put the ethyl group on the ring? Friedel Crafts, so to put the ethyl group on the ring, what should I use? Wait, don't I have a... Is my iPad here? Because I have a... I have the randomized student chooser. It's probably not a good idea with this, right? <laughs> what? Apple called me and asked if you could have a bigger iPad. I don't think they make a bigger iPad. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think they do. Okay. So somebody suggested what? Friedel Crafts. So specifically, what should I use? CH3, CH2, Cl plus AlCl3. Okay, so that's easy enough to put the ethyl group on. Here's a question that I have. Do I want to put it on first? No? No? Does it matter? So I don't want to put the ethyl group on first because I want the two groups to be meta. And once I put the ethyl group on there, it's ortho para, I'm not going to change it. So that can't go on first which means then that we need to think about what react do I know how to put a CH3OH on the ring in one step? No. I can't use a Gilman actually I can't use any of those reagents because we haven't encountered molecules where there's like an OH and a BR on the same carbon. Because those are going to be incredibly unstable. So we're not going to be able to make that. Okay? So I need more than one reaction to end up with a CH2OH. Any suggestions? The C 
know how we're all fit into pretty much the same space. With an ALCL3? Let's deal with the second step second. Let's deal with this one. Do we like this? What? That's very unstable, right? So I can't do that. Now, how did you know that it was unstable? Well, yeah, because I did say so. But when did I say so? I said so in the in the Gatterman Coke. Because if we could do this, we wouldn't need we wouldn't have needed the Gatterman Coke reagent. So if you want if you want Gatterman Coke, then you if you want to do this, you gotta use the Gatterman Coke. So that means we use what? Carbon monoxide, HCl, and like aluminum trichloride. And that will put on the ring what? An aldehyde. And then what would we like to do with the aldehyde? Reduce it. And what do we reduce it with? Clemenson? No. NABH4? I heard somebody initially say rainy nickel. Rainy nickel would be okay. So to reduce this down to an alcohol, I could use lithium aluminum hydride. I could use sodium borohydride. I could use rainy nickel. Any other ones you can think of? Now, why can't I use Clemenson or Wolf Kishner? Clemenson and Wolf Kishner do what to the carbonyl? They reduce it to what group? To an alkyl group. I want to reduce this down to an alcohol. So I need to use lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydride, or I would accept or any nickel. Any other, any other ways to put a CH2OH group on the ring? that you can think of? What if I put like a a CH3 group on the ring? Depends, Vinny. Would you do like a CH3 group and then how about we reduce it? Yeah. I could reduce it down to CH two O eight using what? Uh, Lithium aluminum hydride. So I could I could put an, a group on the I could put a methyl group on the ring, I could make it a carboxylic acid, and I could reduce that down to CH2OH. This when we're doing these kinds of problems, there's no minimum number of steps, there's no maximum number of steps. The big thing is I've got to get there using correct steps. So if I do it in two steps and both of them are incorrect, everything's incorrect.
If it takes me four steps versus three, but everything's correct, that's fine. That's good. So I could do this. Okay. So the first thing I need is I need a strategy to put both groups on the ring. And now I can think about the order of the reagents. Because in order to make this meta, I'm going to need a meta group on the ring. The meta group is going to have to come from forming this. And then I can think about that when the meta group's on there, then go ahead and add the um, ethyl group. Vinny? Um, I, was, I have a question. I was looking at an example in to do this in the experimental for you needed it's the CH2 with CH3 and not just CH3 by um, you know. No, it doesn't have to be. I mean, CH3 with Camino 4 works. Does it change if it's CH2? Any alkyl group. I mean, we know the CH3 got turned into a carboxylic acid with Camino 4 because wasn't that, what step was that in lab? It was like step two or something. So we know it works. Any alkyl group would work. So you don't have to add methyl. You could add ethyl. You could add isopropyl. You could add t-butyl. It doesn't matter. So really what we should probably say here is put an R group on the ring. We want it meta. So give me... So what sh what should I add first? So the CO. So you want to do Gatterman Coke first. Okay. So we'll put we'll put the C. We'll make the aldehyde first. And here's something that I like to do if this thing will erase. Really. What I like to do is when I put my group on, I'm going to put it on in the same position as where it's going to end up in the product. That just helps. That just helps me keep track of things. So we do a Gatterman Coke to put the aldehyde on. So now what do you want to do? Add the ethyl group. So this is our opportunity to make the two groups meta. So I'll go ahead and put the ethyl group on here. So now I've got my two groups meta, and what should the final step be? Reduce the aldehyde down to the CH2OH, and I've got my final product. Then you would just fill in the reagents over the arrows. We want them to be meta, right. and so in the order of the reactions needs to get those two meta. So if I put the the ethyl group on first, and then put then did Gatterman Coke on it, the aldehyde would go ortho and para, and I would never get the meta product that I want. So we, so we on there first, first to, to direct the ethyl group meta so that we can get the right substitution pattern. So that's what you got to know. You got to find you got to know figure out a way to put the two groups on the ring 
and then put them on the ring in a way that gives you the correct substitution pattern. And you're going to need to use all the reactions you've got. Both electrophilic aromatic substitution, and then once you get a group on the ring, you've got to change it. Sometimes. You can film in. One, two, three. Okay, so do we see that? So what would be a good problem? It's probably the same model, some it's probably the same one on here more than once. about C on the front page. Number C. You got to put a CH double bond CH2 and a nitro group. So Give you five I'll give you five minutes to think about it in your how do you put those two groups on the ring and then if you get done with that one you could do F we'll do the F as the next one Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Put the NO2 on, well, then you're halfway there. You did? Right order? Okay. Does this involve a Gatterman Coke? Right. So, so if you had H, if you had HCl to a tri carbon oxygen triple bond, you're going to basically get you're going to basically get a C. You're going to basically get this as a very quick intermediate. What? F. We're about ready to go. We're about ready to do or ask people for their opinions of C. Sarah? Oh, you want to block? Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to block, you could block. But you don't have to. Not unless I tell you to. Oh. And I didn't tell you. And I didn't tell you to block. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, if you want to block, that's fine. That just adds a level of complexity. No, we can we can do it with blocking. Well, no, I'm not going to show you anything. You're going to show me. So. There's our five minutes. All right, so did anybody get to the end? Yes. That means you can put the NO2 group on the ring. That halfway is not really halfway. No, I started with the other one. With F? We'll come back to F. Oh, you started at the top, okay. Okay, does somebody want to give me their series of reagents? Or I'll call on, or I'll just randomly choose somebody and their group can do it. Okay, try. So, and then we'll go back to you guys. Okay.
So you put, the, okay, so you put NO2, you did H2SO4, or HNO3, H2SO4, okay, next. And we change the... Well, hold on, we'll get to you, Benny. To a double bond using this HNO3 minus, or NH2. So what did you do again? We changed the R group to an alkene using NH2 minus. Okay, NH2 minus. That's it? Okay. Benny? I have questions. I thought since it had a double bond, you had to use what? <laughs> Could. You don't have to, though. The goal here is to make it. But you can put the ALC. No, honestly, the goal, the goal is to make it with correct reactions. Whatever reactions you know, if you know Gilman, you could use it. Yeah, we can use a yeah we could use ALCl three to put the alkane on the ring. It might be questionable whether you could put the double bond Cl on the ring with with a, a Frito Crafts. What did your group have for reagents? Vinny. So you had a C double bond C with Okay. So what? So you added like lithium to that, and then you added CUI to that. That's how you make the Gilman. The Gilman's gonna have to look like this. That's gonna that's gonna have to be the Gilman. Where's the ring? What? Where's the ring? The ring what? The benzene ring. Oh then you're gonna have to react that with what kind of benzene ring? Oh, okay. Kaylee? I just had a question. Like putting the VR on it. So what do you want to do to the ben what do you want to do to this benzene ring? So you want to take the benzene ring plus BR2. Okay. Okay. So you both need that. So you both need to do that and then add the Gilman. Okay. And the Gilman would be allyl bromide plus lithium plus copper iodide. Okay, well then we'll come back to you what you did, but you needed this you need this part yeah. with the bromide to you need to put the bromine there and then you're going to couple those two together to make the top half. And once you got the top half made, then it's just simply a question of doing what? Adding the NO2. So how did you put the double bond on then? Okay, so we're going to have a BR here and we're going to add lithium. Okay, so you're going to make, so what you're going to end up making is this. You want to make the, you want to make the Gilman that way. Yeah, and then I added a double bond. Okay. Then you add the nitrate. So anything, anything with either one of those ways to do the Gilman. So you can make the Gilman with the bromine on the ring, or you can make the Gilman with the bromine on the alkyl group. My only, my question, 
might be how you put how you make this. <coughs> Well then, how did how did I make it? It looks like it was just a reading. Oh, okay. That's how I had it. So I just bought it. Yeah. <laughs> what if I can't buy it? An alkyne plus HBr. So take a triple bond, take acetylene, and add HBr to it, and I would make that. We could use the heck if you wanted to put it on there as well. So you could have that would be what? Right, that's the cat the so the catalyst. So the heck we would need what? We need a double bond, mm -hmm. and then what do we need to have on the benzene ring? A halogen. No, I think you need the halogen on the benzene ring to react it with the double bond. That's not what Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. The only problem is this it can never be allylic in the way we're doing it. So it might not. Heck, might not work. Anybody else have ideas about how to put the double bond on the ring, Brian? Yes, we'll come back to that. Okay. We'll come back to that. But yes, you do. So if you added that, would you get a benzene ring with the Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. Okay. So what? So what he wants to do is he wants to take this dye. He wants to take this and have one chlorine become a carbocation and add to the ring. So he's got his. He's got his Cl sitting right here, so he can then do an elimination reaction to get the double bond. I I would have I don't know that this one would work because the second chlorine is probably going to want to become a carbocation too at some point. I don't know what the pro I don't know what the product would be, but I don't think it would be what we want it to be. So. I would just put the ethyl group on the ring. So was the first step, I mean, to So now we should go back to we should go back here. Do you guys want to amend your series of reagents in this case? Do you want help from a friend? Somebody want to suggest suggest what would what would make this better? Brian Yeah, so the NH2 minus doesn't, if I'm, at this point, what you've made is you've made ethyl benzene. You need a leaving group to use NH2 minus. Because alkanes don't react. Remember, I'm looking at this. So I'm just looking at a normal alkane. What can I do to alkanes? This is always good review. What are the two things that I can do with alkanes? Combust them, which isn't going to help this situation, or free radical halogenate them. So if we put in here, well, we could put it either place. But if we put in here Br2 and light, because I want to free radically halogenate the ring or the ethyl group, 
I could do that, then your NH2 works, works well. So I'd need to put a halogen on the ring. So free radically halogenating it would put the bromine right here, and then the NH2 minus would eliminate to form the double bond. And if I wanted to just put an alkyl group on the ring, that's how I can handle it. Remember, the benzylic position is special. That's where you're going to halogenate. Vinny? Uh, your initial reagent is the CL and the CL3. Yeah, it, it's got an extra carbon in it. Because it should go like that. It's got an extra carbon. And if it had that extra carbon, it would rearrange to form an isopropyl group. Add the alkane. Yep. Or add the NH2. So if we add, if you add the alkyl group like this, what do you want to do with it? No, if you add NH2, would NH2 react with the alkane at all? Because it has a negative charge. Oh, no, sorry, not NH2. No, um, sorry, NO2. Nope, still wouldn't react with the NO2. No. So what you need to do is you need to put a halogen here to make that form the double bond. Okay. So did anybody else have any other suggestions to put the C double bond C on the ring? But this is where this is where if you know your Gelman or you know your Hack or you know your Suzuki couplings. You could do that in one step and not have to put the alkane on, brominate it, and then do a double bond, and then make the double bond. But you also cannot become creative and modify the Suzuki reagent to then not work. So you got to make sure your steps are correct. Any suggestions, questions? What would I have done? Something that worked. <laughs> now, if yeah, that kind of a smart, you know, what answer, but not necessarily because, again, uh, you know, I, I that's my job. <laughs> part education, part humor. Um. If somebody asked me to make this, right? If I'm in an academic lab, I can use anything I want because I don't have to worry about being environmentally friendly and throwing out all the waste and making a profit. The only thing I have to do is be able to make it. But if I'm in another situation where I'm going to make a lot of it, then I'm going to try every, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write every possibility. And then I'm going to look at each one individually. And I'm going to say, okay, what reagents am I using? Okay, well, maybe I should be judging my question. Not in a lab setting, in an exam setting. In an exam setting? setting? So if this is, so in an exam setting, what would I do? Something that works. I would do something that works. Something that. More explicitly. Something where every reaction is correct and I get to the final product. Or if I'm just after most of the points, reactions that are mostly correct that get me more than halfway to the product. How many different ways did we do this? By my count, there was four. Right? There's two Gilmans. There's, there were two Gilmans. There's putting the ethyl group on, putting the bromine on, making the double bond. That would be three. And there's probably a fourth one. You'll get credit for any of those. It, as long as all the steps are correct and you get to the final product, you get 100%. Okay. There's no 
I can do that in two steps, or I can do that in four steps, or three steps where you get bonus points. No, there's no level of difficulty here. It's not like diving, where if you do a six step, you get a higher point because it was more difficult. The bottom line is to get the product you want in the minimum number of correct steps because if the longer you go, the more likely you are to make a mistake. And remember, if I need to put an O on the ring, I'm already at like four steps. Right, because I got to nitrate it, turn it into an NH2, turn it into a diazonium, turn it into an OH. So there's a minimum of four steps there. You'll have a few of these on the next. Could be, I don't know what I'm going to write in a few weeks. I have a tendency to, when I just sit down and whip out problems, they probably have already been written before. If I sit down and take my time and write some very challenging problems, which I could do to make things more interesting. So what about this one? Can we put the SO3H group in on one shot? Yes. yes, it's a meta director. So you'll notice with all these problems, there's one group that's challenging. So I can't put that on in one step. No. So let's think about this somewhat rationally. What? F okay, it's attached to a benzene ring. Well, what's the big functional group here? What's the major functional group that's circled? An ester. Okay, so let me think. Do I know any ways to make esters? Anybody have lab yesterday? How'd you make the ester yesterday? H2SO4. And then what functional groups did you use to make the ester? What'd you say? Alcohol and they're not helping you. Yes, there was some heat involved. What's the other part of the ester molecule? Alcohol plus what kind of carbonyl? There is no such thing as a secondary carbonyl. Yeah, you're just uh, make just throwing it up in the air to see where it goes. <laughs> what? It's got a name. 
Something esterification. Fisher esterification. May, what do you what do you think we add? Her hand was up. Okay. So Fisher esterification is an alcohol plus a plus a carboxylic acid. In lab, where did the carboxylic acid come from? It came from the methyl group that was attached to the benzene ring that we used KMNO4 on to convert it to a, a carboxylic acid. And I, and I usually am reading the procedure for the experiment as it's on the board, too. So I'm not that much far ahead of you. On these, on those reactions. Green. So, the R group would be. It would be that alcohol plus. That carboxylic acid. Right. If I break the carboxylic acid up. Those are the two things I would have. So now what do I have to make? I gotta make that. Any suggestions? Nope. That's if you want the OH to be attached to the ring. Here the OH is attached to a chain. So I should probably put the chain on first. Have we done that today? Yes. So to put the ethyl chain on, what am I going to use? Ethyl chloride and aluminum trichloride. Okay, how do I put the OH on the carbon in the middle? Or on the first carbon of the chain? What can I use? What kind of bro? What do you want to do? Bromine? You want to do free radical bromination? I like that. Then we can substitute the bromine for an OH with what did I hear? Water. We'll have to see what the what the what the crowd says about that. We'll have to see what the crowd says about that too. We've kind of been here before, but not in this exact context. So put the ethyl group on, put the bromine on. Yes, and you would use free radical bromination because. That ethyl group that's attached to the benzene ring can only do two things. You only burn it or free radically halogenate it. We put the bromine on, and then I need to substitute the bromine mm -hmm. with an OH group. Brian? When you have the bromination, won't that add a bromine to the ring? You're correct. Yep, you're correct. So I need to be careful with your. I'm showing you an example of trying to be careful with your bromination reagents. Don't get them confused. What? It should be Br2 and light, not Br2 and FeBr3. Br2 and FeBr3 would put the bromine in the ring. I want it on the chain. So, okay, how about the H2O? Will that work? So, a benzylic bromide. Benzylic bromide plus water. Will it add the OH? Will it substitute an OH for the BR? Yes, the mechanism would be SN for water. SN1 for water. 
Can I form a benzylic carbocation out of that bromine? It's going to be very stable, so yes. How about hydroxide? Will hydroxide come in and kick off the bromine? That mechanism is SN2. So either or, either water or hydroxide. So we put this with this with this, and we've made our molecule. So we do Fischer esterification between that alcohol and acetic acid, and we've got our compound. Vinny? Can you add the acetic acid and then you use two at the same time? Yes. We basically reflux the alcohol. Well, everybody's done that in lab. Right? You had, the, you had the bottle of alcohol and acid, and you had to add the sulfuric acid to it and boil it, and the bottle's upstairs somewhere. We'll have to find it in one of these weeks. You're going to, all three things here, this plus this plus this and heat will make the final product. Yeah, it's Fischer esterification. But you got to make this, but you have to make that first. You have to make this alcohol first. The SO3H has to come as a first step to all of this. Okay? So. You have, uh, there's a video to watch, there's a quiz to, an online quiz off of that, off of that video. I know you have homework problems due, as well as an in-class quiz on Friday. Um, we're doing it all.